Hard milling is such an incredible artwork, machining artwork. And when I think about how hard milling had been done previously, years and years, decades and decades ago, I think about a lot of manual work being done because most hard materials at one time were being machined on an EDM because, well, it was just too hard to cut, right? We're polishing, we're grinding, we're, we're refinishing. It is a lot of really difficult work. Even when we think about the concept of conventional milling versus climb milling that we're utilizing now. The fact that most machines really couldn't handle the hardness of a lot of this material, it would rip them apart. At Hard Milling Solutions, they actually have a Makino machine just off to my left here that they've had since 2004 and is still running with the accuracy and precision that it did from day one. They also have Heimer products that they invested in since 2004 that still the shrink fit holders are being utilized just as they were on day one. This is the intro to hard milling but now I'm going to bring Corey on camera because he is the expert at hard milling and let's gather some of his thoughts and ideas about how he's achieved such greatness in this factory. I know I kept you all waiting a little while, but trust me, the wait is worth it because this is the original gangster, the OG of hard milling, Mr. Corey Greenwald. Please put your hands together for him. I know you're doing it behind the camera. I can't see you, but I trust you're doing it. Corey, we already talked a little bit about hard milling to bring this in. We talked a little bit about Heimer and how important that is, but let's connect with the audience real quick and give them a real quick background of this this hard milling expertise that you have is the number one googled uh, advertisement let's say or news article for, for a decade right I mean you were the go-to source for hard milling for a long time and still to this day you reign as a leader where people go to to learn more about hard milling can you talk a little bit about that well you know Tony uh, hard milling from the beginning till now uh, it's really about precision it's about great equipment, the machines, the, uh, um, the shrink fit machines, the precision, the zero run out, and just being able to get to everything in a very, very minute, precise way, and doing it in a lights out manner so that you can, you can make money. And as I look around this shop, two major highlights stick out to me because I'm seeing it everywhere. Makino, which is obvious, it's in the background of what we're yeah. looking at right now, and Heimer. How has Heimer supported your, your high precision machines and this hard material that you're trying to get out, not regularly, but 100% of the time, on time, because that's what you guys do here at Hard Milling Solutions. Yeah, so, you know, I'm, I met the president, uh, Brent Holden, of Heimer way back in the 90s, um, by chance, at an open house, and uh, he told me he was, you know, bringing this new product to, the, to North America, and um, when I started my company, I bought a Heimer shrink fit unit, and that unit is still being used today. The holders that we bought, the majority of them are still being used today, and it's just the precision, you know, just there's no run out to these tools, and you know, if you got a 10 millimeter, you know, cutter, and it's running out, you, you're gonna get wear, you know, you're gonna get some, maybe some chatter, um, but when you're, when you're doing a 10 thou or, or even a, a half millimeter, 20 thou cutter, and you got a few tenths run out, it's gonna snap it. Your machine's down, you're not making money, you're not hitting your lead time. So, Heimer has been a cornerstone to our success. And you know what, the support um, has been incredible. Uh, they've went above and beyond to support us throughout the years. And you know, 19 years later, those products that we bought, they may have seemed expensive in the beginning. They have been some of the best investments we've ever made. Really a powerful story. There's two things I want to bring up about that. One is, do you think when you're running certainly your larger end mills, do you think your machine life would have lasted as long if you had vibration in your machine spindle all the time? You know, back in the beginning, some friends of mine that were in the software the industry and, and dealing with a bunch of different uh, people, uh, they brought in a bunch of different manufacturers of holders and they, they checked them. They all said that they were balanced at 25,000 RPM and at that time, Timer was the only product that actually was balanced to that. So 
Absolutely. You know, you these spindles are 40 grand, 50 grand by the time you calculate in downtime um, and the cost of the spindle itself. And you don't want to be putting in a, a holder that's not balanced, right? I mean, you're going to mess up the, the, the spindle taper and your, your results just aren't going to be what you invested to get, right? I agree with you. And I bring that up, and great answer, by the way, but I also bring that up because like the audience knows, I get information off camera, which I found extremely valuable. And I do my very best to remember as much as I can because Corey is full of information. 60,000 run hours on one of your older machines and you're still using these same Heimer tools. I want to amplify that point because this is hard material all the time since 2004 and both the machine and the holders are still holding up. Yeah, 100%. And you know, the thing is we paid for that machine in the first five years. We paid for the shrink machine, it, it, you know, in the first year and they've been making money consistently, dependably, reliably this whole time. And that's how we're able to keep our pricing competitive with the rest of the world. For everyone who is excited to reach out to you and learn more, where's your website? Maybe your home address. You are a really nice guy. I know you like cars as we're in the Motor City. Yeah. So for some of the car folks, I'm just kidding. Don't give your home address, yeah, but a website. Out. Yeah, come hang out in the car barn. Um, <laughs> Go to www.hardmillingsolutions.com and uh, reach out. We do everything from, you know, one-offs to, you know, light production, but precision, precision, precision. I like it, Corey. Thank you so much. It's really an honor to talk with you. The OG of Hard Milling, everyone. This is Hard Milling Solutions and my buddy, Corey. Thank you all for watching. Truly appreciate your time. We all know how valuable time is. Thank you, Tony.